Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to an episode of The Hunter Called the Wild. So last time in the game, or I said last update of the game, <clears throat> excuse me, last update of the game, they actually added, um, ducks. I'm gonna go ahead, I can, I just spotted some ducks just across the way there. Don't know if they're still there or not. Yeah, they're way over there. 200 meters off. I'm gonna see if we can call them in here. I don't need to have a blind in this particular situation. So let's go ahead and see if we can call them. They're 200 meters away, and this duck color, let's see, I believe works uh, 500 meters away. So we should be able to call them in from there. Let's see what happens here. So they added this. They added this little uh, uh, addition to the game. So they added ducks, and you can get the a gun associated with that. Uh, so the one that I have right here, this uh, Norden... 20, 20 gauge shotgun uh, serviceman is one of the ones you can get for duck hunting. I don't know how much of a difference this one is from the uh, Cacciatore, which is the other one I think I, I think I have right now. I mean, no, just these two, I guess. So, which is the other six? You can get six rounds the other one. So, uh, I guess I could try to put some decoys down here too. Uh, no, don't need the blind. Don't need that. Don't need that. Here we go. Apparently you're limited now to the number of decoys you can put out. There. Let's see if that helps at all. Because I can see them over there. Where are they here? They were, oh, they're right over there still, just hanging out. That's the one thing I've discovered is, if you want to spot and your, and your decoys are just close enough that you can get the dismantle button up, there we go. But now I can't see anything, so. That's the dilemma. All right, let's get, try and get some ducks in here. coming in quite yet. That's funny though. Theoretically you should be able to call the ducks in quite easily. Well, you should be able to call them in at all. But they come down sometimes in packs. I've had situations where they come down like a whole bunch of them at the same time and it was really easy and there are times where it's taken quite a long time so we're going to see what happens here. It's hard to tell. You can't put any scent or anything like that for them. But you can draw them in from quite a ways away. So they're across the lake there. So you'd think they'd be able to hear that. And be like, hey, what's going on over there? Well, we just spotted them. I don't think we spotted a uh, need zone, did we? No. Well, there's the Mallard need zone over there. So we could always head up over that ne neck of the woods. Because I was over there before. If that's not obvious. I don't see them over there anymore. Nope. And what's the timing on that need zone? Let's see here. 11.30 to 13.30. Oh, so they would have just left probably then. Now let's give it a go. A couple more, couple more uh, minutes here and see what's... Uh, we get anything to come in there, but that's probably why they were just he heading out there. I mean, it could always just progress to the next day. That's a definite possibility here, too. No. The funny thing is, I've, I've had other things come in while I've been duck hunting and doing the duck call like that. I think I've had deer come in a couple times now. That was before they patched, now they've patched again. They did a retro patch to go back to the previous patch, now they've gone forward again, so I don't know. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just book it over to the other side over there. 
Actually, what we can do here is go to the map. We'll just go over here, and what's that? 1330? 1130. 1130. Fast travel back to their tent here. And then sleep until the next day at, let's say, 10... 45, sure. Let's see. This side's still got that. So we were to head right there, basically. And maybe we'll catch something along the way, though, too. We'll see. <clears throat> now, I did encounter ducks all over here before, so it's possible they'll still be around or I guess in reality they come back based on the timing. It's possible we'll see something else along here too, actually. Although I totally have the wrong gun for anything else other than a moose. At least on this map. Looks like there's something over there. Oh, just a, <laughs> a little piece of nothing, basically. Take a little jaunt around here. Well, the one funny thing I noticed is that when you actually get a duck in the water, like you hit it and it's above the water, it actually falls down. And comes back towards you, which is kind of funny, actually. So, okay. Those are just birds. Looks like a vulture or something. I feel like they've added more like ambient wildlife, at least on this map. Because it seems like there's more birds flying around. I've seen bugs more more often than not. Or maybe it's just because I'm playing Africa and I haven't uh, noticed that sort of thing very much in Africa. So it seems like there's a lot in this map. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get on our side over here. do is we'll put some uh, decoys down up here. Should be able to get to this island too, shouldn't we? Not from there, apparently. Okay. It looks like you can get to it. Maybe you can from the other side there. I haven't spooked anything yet, which is good. Despite the fact that I'm running around here. Alright. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, there we go. Dropping just now. I don't have the right collar for the bear, unfortunately. Yeah, if we're into the bear, that's fine. As long as I don't use the bird shot, I'll be okay. <laughs> Basically. Another track up there. Or ducks, most likely. Maybe one of those feathers that you see, which indicates need zones. Looks like just uh, some droppings there. Oh, 
what needs zone is that? Oh, the black tailed deer. Hmm. Yes, I know you're back there, bear. Alright, so let's go ahead and put some decoys down out here. Oh, can you put them on over here? Oh, you can. An interesting little fact that uh, when you pull up these decoys, you pull up a, more than just one. It's not just, you don't pull up one, you pull up a, a couple of them, which is nice. Yeah, didn't think we could get to that island. It's worth a try, though. Put a couple of these over here. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's get our blind in here now. So let's see if we can get a good position here. I think right here is a good point. Right here. Because at least the grass isn't blocking our way. And here's what the blind looks like. And you just walk in here. Like so. And then you're kind of locked and loaded in there. And now you're invisible. So go ahead and see if we can't call some of these ducks in. Now the need zone is for 11.30, so we've got 20 minutes in game. Let's see if we can get at least one here. Don't hear any ducks yet. But apparently this is the need zone, so we're right in the appropriate area. Now the funny thing is you're gonna run into here is uh, how many decoys you have out and how many birds you get in one particular area, then you just end up adding a little bit too much of uh, hunting pressure in that area, right? So. So they only had ducks on late and lows here, so. That's why I'm here, obviously. So they have uh, ducks here and they have geese on uh, Hirschfelder now, so. You have your choice. So I figured what, that's what they would do is they would have the, uh, kind of have the, uh, the starting point laid down by the geese. And then they'd be able to add other uh, fowl based on that. Birds, basically. I think we saw some ducks, but that's about it. Mm. And you can hear the echo too, which is kind of cool. In an area like this. Nothing out there. Kind of surprised actually. Admittedly, I only have a couple more minutes before I have to get to work anyways, but we'll give this a go still. Mm. It's funny, I've been watching a show called Meat Eater on Netflix. And interesting, the, interesting, the fact, uh, interesting little fact is the fact that they actually uh, show sometimes that they're unsuccessful, which is pretty rare, I suppose, in a TV show. So... 
Now, in this game, you can always be successful. You just gotta put enough time into it, basically. Because sometimes you'll get, like, the perfect storm of uh, animals, and other times you'll get, like, nothing. What's that mission for? Harvest two coyotes down with a rifle? So I don't know if the birds are going to come rushing in in like 10 minutes or not in the game. Or what's going to happen. We'll give it a couple more minutes here, just to see. Just to see if we can get at least one here. Don't see anything yet. It's all a waiting game sometimes. I've stumbled into quite a few ducks, mind you, but usually it's at a distance and you can't get them with a shotgun, so. And if you hit them with anything else other than the shotgun, then, especially with shotgun with a bird shot, then you're kind of, you don't get the same points, basically, so. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I was hoping for like a whole flock of ducks. Nothing. Hmm. It's the right time. So now is when they're supposed to be start starting showing up, I guess. Starting to show up. Let's see what happens here. Whether or not that, that they're that timely, I don't know, but <laughs> that's always the question. Whether you're not going to get the get what you're looking for or not, especially in a time constraint like this game, I always find it takes longer than uh, the time I have to do something I want to do because you're kind of locked into. Well, for me, I have a certain period of time to record in the morning, and then in this case, if I uh, if I actually get to get something in that time, that's great. If I don't, well, I can't really go back and try again the same that same day unless I do it in the evening, I suppose. But nothing. Well, they're supposed to be here. It's supposed to be in the keyword, of course. Sometimes you can just turn, do what I'm doing, just turning around. And you can hear them off the distance sometimes. But it looks like I cannot hear anything. And maybe I'm calling too much, but usually it will happen with some animals. If you call them too often, they'll get spooked. Not all animals, but some animals will. rain it seems like nope nothing yet anyways folks I do need to get off to work my name is Ian Robson I hope you enjoyed if you like what you saw much go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hopefully next time with a successful hunt. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.